This is the plaintiff, Jennifer Ruiz Diaz. She says she sold her car to the defendant. The woman only paid her a portion of the final price, and now she's having one heck of a time collecting the rest of what she's owed. She's not about to just walk away from the $1,250 she's owed, and that's why she's suing today. This is the defendant, Blanca Aldi. She says the plaintiff knowingly sold her a car that had water damage. That's right, she unloaded a lemon on her, knowing it had been in some sort of flood or something. Not only is she not paying the crook the rest of the money, she is suing her for a refund, because she doesn't want the hunk of junk one minute longer. She's accused of not paying in full. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $450, the money she paid for the water-soaked hunk of junk. All parties, please raise your right hand. You bought a car with a check engine light on? Yes, and I told Why you. Why would you do that? Well, because I really needed a car, and then I already had the money together to buy a new car, and then we could... Oh, you have the money for the repairs? Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff sold her car to the defendant and says she got stiffed, but the defendant says the car had water damage and the plaintiff didn't tell. It's the case of, who knew I was taking a leak? Thank you, Douglas. Jennifer Ruiz Diaz, you are suing Blanca Aldi for $1,250 that you say, 750 of it, the balance of a car that she bought from you that she still hasn't paid, and $500, a plane ticket to New York to file. Because you moved? To Miami. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you have a counterclaim against her for 450 because you want your money back on the car because you say that the car is a lemon. Okay, tell me what happened. What happened in um, November 23rd, I decided to move to Miami because I got an opportunity, job opportunity. Um, before the, two weeks before, uh, Mrs. Blanca did have the opportunity to see the car uh, check what, the what, car. What year make uh, a model? It's a, a Galan 2003. Uh, she got the opportunity to see the car. Uh, it was uh, not in a good conditions, but the only thing it, it was... It was what? It was not in a good conditions from outside. Not in a good conditions oh, okay. means from the outside. outside. of the... Yes, okay. it's not, was, it was not like brand new car. Okay. So I tell her the only thing is is the checking light is is uh, is on because it's a the sensor. The what light? The checking light. The check engine. Engine light. light. Okay. Yes. It was on. So, but it was oh, because that's, that's, a, that's a, like a big, it could be like a really big thing. No, no, no. You bought a car with a check engine light on? Yes. And I told. Why her would you do that? Well, because I really needed a car, and then I had the money together to buy a new car, and then because. Oh, you have the money for the repairs. Because the check well, engine light is signifying that there's a problem. Actually, I'm not even thinking about it. But um, Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. All right, so so she buys the car, but I, she doesn't I, give you the money. And no, I did tell her. And the reason, what I tell her, because I say to her and I offer that she can take it to the mechanic, that she actually, the mechanic who checked the car and say it was only a sensor. Okay. So she, she drove the car and I say, remember, it's an old car, it's 2003, that's what I'm selling it for cheap. But I need the money. Just if you want, drive it. She drove it. it so was you ended up selling it to her, and she paid you four hundred and fifty dollars. And then this woman, who you've never met before, was going to make payments on yeah. a used car. This doesn't look like a recipe for disaster to you. Yes, I know. <laughs> anyway, tell me what's going on and why you won't pay and why you want your money back. What went wrong? With the with the car, I find it was a leaking all over inside of the car. What does that mean? That mean was in the um, near to, actually my English is not too good, but I'm trying to explain it, the, the uh, copy lad or the, the next person that was in the, um, the carpet was okay, stop. Lad, I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, I have no idea what you're saying. Say it in Spanish and then I'll tell you how to say it in English and then we'll piece it together. Yeah, yeah. I trato de explicar de que el lado del copiloto y el lado de... Co-pilot. Okay, all right. Okay, Go okay. Ahead. So it was a lot of water. So in the passenger seat, and there the was passenger water. Seat Is was... that a sunroof? Well, actually... Does the, the car have a sunroof? Yes. No, the, have a, a No sunroof. or yes? This no, no, not yes. have a sunroof. Yes. It has a sunroof. Have a sunroof. So you think the sunroof is leaking? 
I don't, I don't really know. I didn't have an well, idea. Be because the water's because coming because in somehow. Saw, where do you I think the water's coming in? Well, actually, I just tried to see where, fine. And then I just spoke to her. I just called in, but she not answered the phone. And then I just sent them a message. And then so she called me back. And then I say, what happened? Because she saw, she heard my voice was, I was uh, really upset. And I tell her, I'm really upset because you told me whatever the car was all blah, blah, blah. But we never talked the car was inside a lot of water. Do now, you have pictures? Yes, I do. May I see? Why didn't you have the car checked out by, uh, by anybody? Especially with a check engine light. Why didn't you have the car checked out by anybody? By McCann? Well, okay. actually, in, in the right moment, actually, in the right moment, she don't tell me I have to bring in the, to the mechanic. I she doesn't have to tell you. I'm asking she, you why you didn't. You have connected brain cells. I'm asking you why you didn't. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Which She's going to tell me why you didn't? She isn't, it's no, not her job to tell you about it. This is where, what's this a picture of? That's in the, in the, uh, on the carpet, getting uh, with the freezing water. When you checked out the car, was there any water on it? No, not at all. Because by the time... Did you, when you, how long did you drive the car for? In a year. Did you ever have a water problem? No, and when she bought it, it was raining. Those days, it was the days that it was raining a lot. Yeah. But I don't want to have this problem. Did you register the car in your name? Never. You got to be real careful about that. Did the defendant commit an H2O? No, no. Will the plaintiff get $1,250? Judge Millian rules next. For free tickets to be part of our courtroom audience, call 1-888-780-8587. So, <laughs> would you ever buy a car where, the li where it says check engine light on the deck? No, I wouldn't. Is that just incredibly stupid when you see that yes it is because it's gonna break anytime soon i mean does it, would anybody ever do that under any circumstances not at all i oh. think that's a really dumb idea so dumb <laughs> going inside the courtroom so here's the thing you know when you buy a used car you're buying it as is that means that you're buying a pig in a poke unless you have a mechanic look at it uh, uh, and so unless you can prove to me that the problem existed when she had it and that she hid it from you there's nothing that you could do. Did the car smell? I mean, was there any standing water there on the days that you went? Because I saw in the text back and forth, you know, she says, look, it was raining when you bought the car. Did you see any water? Of course there was no water. I don't know what you're telling me. You don't need to be sarcastic. I mean, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of the words in Spanish. And, and then there's, there's a repair that is probably a, not that expensive a repair. So that falls on you. You're the person who bought the car. When you buy a used car, it's an as-is sale unless you can prove that she lied. And the Does fact, she? no, you, the only thing you have to prove it is, I have a problem, so she lied. No, so on your counterclaim against her for 450, zero. And on her claim against you for 1250, I am ruling in your favor in the amount that's owed still on the car, which is 750. I am not ruling in your favor that you had to, nobody made you move to Miami. I understand why you did. Okay, um, because, and it doesn't need to be a job. There's, there's no, the, you don't need a good reason to move to Miami, okay? But uh, that doesn't mean that people have to pay your travel expenses. No, the thing so $750 verdict for the plaintiff on the counterclaim zero. Now, you need to take care of this. You need to go, you know, you need to notify the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles that that sale happened and that she's not registering it. Okay. Okay, so that, because she, she has a, a car accident in I the car, it, it ends up, pool. stop talking. If she has a car accident in the car, they could end up suing you. Okay. So you have to be able to, pr to prove the sale and file the paperwork and do whatever you got to do. All right, thank you. Well, as we've seen so many times here in the People's Court, somebody exiting the, the courtroom after losing it on an as-is sale. Well, actually, I'm not agree with the judge because she not even gave me a chance to show in the rest of the papers and the rest of the proofs I have. There's nothing you can do to change the law. No, that I know, when you I buy a car as is, it's on you. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, she's <laughs> right too. But you know, you I'm not so? I never I think so. Okay. I never think that way, but now I learned the lesson. I know you must watch the people's court more. It happens all the time. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> right this way. Thank you. That's a tough lesson for for a car buyer to learn. Yeah, Put yourself in her shoes. Unfortunately, I have to go through all this level yeah. to find out and to pay me the money. I'm glad to have my money back, at least know everything, but something that really 
is what I was looking for. Well, how would you, you like to buy a car and it breaks down after you? Well, I was, I was sincere and I told her the truth. With the licking and stuff, I have no idea, honest. 